Hi Aries, welcome to your reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Okay, so let's see Aries. Aries, this is a collective message for your sign. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Let's see Aries. Could you please show me important messages for Aries? What Aries needs to know at this time? What Aries needs to know at this time, please? Mm -hmm. So we have, okay. You will have reasons to celebrate Aries. Something here will play out to your advantage. You might be dealing with Leo Sagittarius or another Aries, okay, fire sign, but th this is also energy of Ace of Wands. So that indicates that you are very powerful at the moment and you might feel very passionate about something and it feels like you will have reasons indeed to celebrate. Something will manifest the way you the way you want this thing to to happen to to kind of um, mm, there is a big achievement coming and very visible in your energy for some of you will get an invitation um, to some sort of gathering celebration party event but you'll spend nice time okay you will have fun so this is very very nice energy then we have this, um, these two cards, Intimacy and Third Party. I'm getting very strongly here, Aries, that there is a connection that might be very important uh, to you. And I feel that feeling of love or some sort of kind of a intense chemistry is mutual between you and this part and another party yes and and this person as well then we have this third party the thing about this whole situation might be that this individual here it's um they might not be um, single this is someone who might already be involved with someone else okay if that's the case this person will very soon tell you something about this situation and it feels like um, they will let you know that they would like to um, detach from that third party that person that they might be involved with at the moment in order to be with you and i feel that it will make you feel very very happy because there is this kind of energy of uh, mutual attraction. This, this person wants to be closer to you. And uh, I feel that both of you share very strong feelings. For some of you, um, it might be a case that there are some family issues going on uh, currently uh, in, in your life. And it might be regarding, for instance, um, relatives or closer family members. But it feels like something here will gain a positive resolution with the Celebrate card. And it feels like people will make amends if, if there is some sort of kind of conflict or you might be involved in some sort of disagreement. And I feel, Aries, that you might be in the middle of something like this. This is very specific. It might not resonate with all of you, but I can see that. And it's like this third party. It's like you are in the middle and there are people here and you try to mediate. I don't know how to say it in English. <laughs> uh, please forgive me if I make a mistake, but it's like a, being a mediate, mediate, mediator, you know, um, and you might feel that it's like you are in the middle of this whole situation and actually you're trying to, uh, to, to, you're trying to, um, help this whole uh, matter 
and in order to gain a positive resolution. But it feels like um, this situation b will be resolved and people will make amends and they will apologize um, and things will be just fine. We have energy of self-love at the bottom of the deck. I feel that you are investing a lot in yourself, you know. Um, I'm getting that you are making healthy choices, that you're putting yourself first and your needs, your well-being, which is a beautiful energy because you're attracting beautiful and, uh, it, let's say in the bracket, healthy things to your, uh, to your life. So this is very positive energy. For some of you, this third party also is kind of, you know, I am quite focusing on this card. And it might be a case, Aries, that for some of you, there is someone here who puts you in a third party situation. Uh, but I feel with these cards, we'll see the tarot in a second. It feels like something here will play out to your advantage. Okay, it's like you will gain a positive resolution to this situation. It's like you will have the last word or the last laugh regarding that ma matter. Okay, but let's see, Aries. Let's see. Show me important messages for Aries. What's going on? In Aries's life, please. We have a six of swords. Okay. We have a pr princess of talismans here in this in this in this deck. This is a page of pentacles. And we have strength. You might be dealing with Leo. We have this energy as well. Uh, it's showing up here. So it might be a double confirmation for some of you that you might be dealing with uh, with Leo. With the six of swords, um, page of pentacles and strength. I feel that at the moment... Um, With the Six of Swords, it's like you are focusing on harmony, you are focusing on tranquility you, or some sort of kind of energy of uh, bringing more balance uh, to your current situation. I feel that recently you might have decided to distance yourself or to kind of walk away because it was the right thing to do. I feel that your judgment and decision was based on or is based on logic and because it, we, we have the source energy, which is an air energy, and it's all about intelligence, logic, and rational uh, kind of perspective. And I feel that's, that's what's, what's going on. It's like you came into conclusion, Aries, that uh, it's just the right thing to do to kind of leave it or maybe, you know, distance yourself from something. Because I feel that the situation might have been quite draining especially when it comes to uh, um, when it comes to emotions and I feel that you had to make a choice between heart and you know kind of reason and you chose to uh, to look at the situation um, from more logical point of view and I feel that you judge this uh, this matter based on facts that that actually were available to you and i i guess that overall kind of um decision here was to yes it, it it kind of it feels like it's better for me to distance myself or to kind of walk away from something in order to gain more um harmony and balance uh, to this to this situation I feel that it took so much strength, it wasn't easy. And I feel that at the moment things, um, the fact that you've decided to do it or you might be in the middle of, 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 of making that decision, with the strength, it's it taking a lot of strength and courage to do. But with the page of pentacles, I feel that you see a potential and you see kind of this, that, that, it's just it's the right thing to do and when you kind of uh, detached from that situation and new opportunities and possibilities will will appear to your life 
but it doesn't mean that it's easy thing it's an easy thing to do show me more for aries we have a four of pentacles I'm getting very strongly Aries that at the moment you might be keeping your cards very close to your chest. Uh, it feels like you don't want to share much with others because Four of Pentacles is very selective. This is energy of uh, being very selective um, with, you know, with actually everything or it's an energy of holding back and there is a reason for instance for doing that this is also no action and yes i feel that you especially with the high precious you might be dealing with pisces but it's like um it's very difficult for others to kind of read you you know what i mean i feel that you know overall you are very you know you are very nice and you can you you can be very social but when it comes to certain decisions and um some sort of kind of ideas i feel that you are very selective with your energy you don't like to share much with others and you like to keep things to yourself with the high precious mm -hmm. okay and we have night of Knight of Cups. Sorry, Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands. And overall energy for you, Aries, and we have Five of Swords. Mm, yes, there is a reason why, for instance, you might be feeling that way, that you want, you know, that you rather keep your cards very close to your chest and not kind of or be selective with your energy. Because overall, energy here for this reading suggests that you you met with with some sort of you were involved in a certain situation or there was a person who played mind games with you who who was a two-faced um who was quite difficult in a sense of them um, being very confrontational someone here i feel that someone here was um or has been um uh quite it, it's like this person doesn't like to take criticism they like to win by all costs and um i feel this is someone who's been very manipulative and i feel it's like with this four of pentacles and the high precious it's like i've learned my lesson and I will not let anyone to um, to put me once again in that sort of kind of situation because this five of swords here it's like a you know overall energy, and I feel that it really kind of left um, some sort of kind of mark uh, on your heart with the with the knight of cups this is very interesting because we have a four of pentacles um page of pentacles and this knight of wands not cups knight of wands <laughs> knight of wands there, there is here there is some uh, we have someone here who really wants to take an action in order to find out while you withdraw your energy this this knight of wands it's very very curious and i know that we don't have page of swords but next to the high precious it's like they want to find out they want to find out what's going on in your life or why you suddenly withdraw or changed uh, some sort of kind of a, a habit regarding uh, maybe a communication or association with them something like this you have someone who is very 
I feel this is someone who is very in and out, who is very hot and cold. They can be very immature, sometimes very reckless. They they speak before they think, and um, they yes, this this is the night of. Once it's a very creative energy, but it brings enormous enormous amount of instability and uncertainty. And this is this energy here is incredibly interested. What's going on, or why you withdraw your energy, or why you kind of, um, for some of you, th this is a no contact situation here with this person because we have the high priestess in the middle. And look, um, Ace. Uh, I don't know why those cards are coming. Ace of Pentacles, yes, they want to talk. But this um, Page of Pentacles with the Four of Pentacles, this is someone who is missing you. They feel left out in the cold. They want to find out, but it's it, they want to find out what's going on because it feels like they don't have an access. And it might be a case that this Knight of Wands was very manipulative, right? And you've decided to kind of walk away from that energy because it, it's just, it, it was very inconsistent and it was the right thing to do because of this person's manipulation and mind games. They are very, very curious about you. Show me love life. Show me love life for Aries, please. Show me love life. Your energy is very passive. You know, Aries. And it's like we have a strength and then we have a four of pentacles. These energies, you know, strength represents that kind of... Um, I feel that you are very diplomatic about things, but at the same time you're holding back. And then we have this Four of Pentacles, which is essentially a card that represents uh, holding back in its own essence. Then we have a High Priestess, you know, not, not talking much or not saying much, keeping some sort of kind of your plans and ideas very kind of you, only for yourself close to your chest but I feel that you see some sort of potential about something and when it's a right moment I'm getting that uh, uh, you will be ready to to kind of go for it show me love life for Aries please show me love life We have the hanged man. You might be dealing with Pisces. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have an eight of cups, six of cups, eight of swords, eight of wands. You need to forgive me, I'm sorry. I have very strong cross watchers energy coming forward <laughs> in your reading Aries. Hello, cross watcher. <laughs> okay, show me more. Interesting. This is Eight of Wands. Uh, okay. Wow. Mm. You might be dealing with Capricorn. Look, three, four. <laughs> this is all cups energy. Three to four, nine to ten. There will be some sort of progress here. So let's let let's take a look at this. At the bottom of the deck, we have the devil card. We have the devil. This is Capricorn energy. So you might be dealing also with Capricorn. And we have Pisces. Mm -hmm. Someone here wants to come back. And it doesn't have to be an ex. It can be a person, for instance, that you've been in touch or you were dating this person 
uh, things didn't quite work out or you were in a situationship, please, situationship, please take it how it resonates. Um, but it feels like they do want to come back because six of cups, it's this energy of the past or certain event from the past that wants to resurface itself again, wants to come back to our life. And we're talking about love life. So this is a hugely connected. I feel that there might be someone with whom you might have history with, um, with the hanged man. I feel that at the moment there is no contact situation. This is someone who might have walked away or you decided to walk away detached from it because you you might have into you might came into conclusion that it's go that it's just hitting nowhere um but this is very passive energy someone here walked away or distanced themselves or just withdraw their energy from the situation um and i feel that yes for some time there was a no contact situation and i feel that at the moment there might be a still no contact situation but things going to change because we have an eight of cups, this person walked away, but the fact that it's showing up next to the six of cups, they want to come back, okay? They want to come back, and with the eight of wands, they want to talk. This is a card of communication. This is a card of having, a, you know, kind of being in touch. It's not only just sending a message, for instance, like it can be presented with any page in tarot, especially page of wands. This is a card that represents communication, but it's like back and forward conversation and someone here wants to be in touch with you. That person who might have detached, walked away or, with, or you, you might have detached from this person. So please take it how it resonates. Why they want to uh, talk? Because with the three of cups, they want some sort of form of reconciliation here with you. This is someone who wants to make amends, who wants, this is someone who is missing you. We have a four of cups, we have a nine of cups and ten of cups. <laughs> yeah, this is someone, this is this energy. This is someone who wants to talk to you in order to communicate with the three of cups and this energy. Indeed, it might be a case that at the time this person put you in a third party situation or they they were or they've been already involved with someone else if that's the case i'm getting very strongly here that this person will try to reach out to you and tell you that they are rejecting this third party with the three of cups in order to have this fulfillment represented by the nine of cups and ten of cups with you this is someone who will tell you that they no longer want to be involved with someone here. Um, yes, with this third party. It's like they want to resign from this third party in order to be with you. We have a nine of cups and the ten of cups. I feel this, this, this um conversation that message that this person wants to de deliver to you and express um their decision that, that that they are going to make uh or they've they might have already made um it will make you feel very happy because nine of cups next to the ten of cups is just pure joy happiness fulfillment this person will tell you that you are they wish fulfill that you, that you are they wish fulfillment and they want happily ever after with you meaning being in a relationship with you relationship you know based on love and and they want to build something very profound but i feel at some point um uh i'm getting aries that for some of you, you decided to walk away from it because you simply didn't want it to be this third, third, third party. And um, yes, the connection is here. It's very strong. For, and I feel that, you know, you've detached. You walked away. Well, they are coming to kind of tell you that they, they would like to be with you. 
Aries. We have this energy at the bottom of the deck. Well, that indicates here that you're dealing here with someone who likes to be in control and I feel that they lied. There was something here that they lied um, about. Um, um, I feel this is someone who is very possessive. Uh, this person um, likes to be in control. But this individual, it's, it's, it's thinking about you 24-7. Even, you know, if they walked away, please take it how it resonates. Or if you would draw your energy, they are still energetically very, very, very attached to you. And they cannot let it go. Shall we check? Are they telling the truth? Let's see. We have a judgment. So that's this decision. We have a six of, six of wands. Well, it feels like you might be dealing with Scorpio. It feels like that they they do want to have um, some sort of form of victory regarding this connection with you. This is someone who really wants your attention, and they might it might be a case that they are a little bit of an attention seeking person. But it's like they really care about your attention with the judgment. Yeah, this is another energy that represents past that wants to resurface itself again. But in this case, I feel very strongly that this person wants to resurrect something with you. King of Cups, yes. Well, it feels that it feels like, excuse me, it feels like uh, you can expect confession of love because King of Cups represents this person's feelings and king of cups is very loving they king of cups uh, male female please take it how it resonates it wants to express feelings it wants to be seen as someone who is emotionally available who has so much affection and love to give you have someone who wants you very very much with this energy and i feel that they are really thinking about you a lot for some of you might be receiving signs from universe you might be hearing this person's name just randomly or there is a song on the radio that it reminds you of 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 them but with the six of wands this is someone here who wants a victory regarding the situation meaning um, they would really kind of wish for you to give them another chance and and kind of a mm, yeah give them a chance give them a chance so you can expect indeed um, confession of love but I feel that this this energy here indicates that indeed there was some sort of kind of form of third party involved in 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 this situation but it feels like things are changing and overall, you know, with nine of cups, with the ten of cups, whew, this is like dream come true. You'll get what you want. I always say it when I see nine of cups. Because this is a very powerful energy. Okay, so let's see near future Aries. Show me near future for Aries. Show me near future, Aries, for Aries. Which of this? Mm -hmm. We have a Queen of Wands. Could you please show me near future for Aries? You might be dealing with another Aries indeed. I have strong Scorpio energy. Show me near future for Aries. Seven of 
wands. So we have an ace of wands, five of pentacles, and we have seven of cups. Near future. Yes, in the near future here, Aries, you will find out about something. And I feel that it will be quite, you know, you might come into knowledge about something unexpectedly. Uh, just, you know, um, it will be out of the blue. It will be very surprising with this tower. And it will be quite shocking with the Queen of Wands. And Queen of Wands in the love readings represents third party situation most of the time of course it, de it depends on on surrounding cards but yes most of the time she as an energy can represent third party situation and then we have the tower and look we have a queen of wands the tower and the ace of wands it's like it's like a double confirmation that someone some sort of kind of knowledge is coming to you about this third party that it didn't work out Okay, so it is like a double confirmation about this, this, this situation. If this person, for instance, left you for someone else, well, they are full of regret. And I can reassure you here that you will come to a knowledge that things didn't work out between, between the two of them. Between the two of them. I don't know if it's the right way to say in English. I do apologize, but I hope you understand what I mean. That things didn't work out. With this third party okay for some of you there will be this conversation and it will be quite shocking because you will actually find out and it's something that um i feel the way this person will deliver it it will be quite um mind-blowing actually you know then we have a five of pentacles and we have a seven of cups. I feel this is someone here who will say that I don't know what I was thinking with the seven of cups. I don't know what I was thinking. It, it, it's just, it was a moment of, of some sort of kind of, um, just like a very odd moment I'm getting that, that I was just uh, somehow distracted or some sort of form of illusion here took place something like this and with the five of pentacles this is someone who will confess that they miss you and that's what i was getting mm -hmm. we have a seven of wands seven of wands uh suggests that yes this is someone here i feel who will apologize that they pushed you away you know oh i can see now magpie and I always say, Aries, when I see Magpie, good morning, Mr. Magpie, how is your lovely wife? <laughs> it's just the superstition. Um, yeah, one Magpie, right? <laughs> but um, yeah, you see, one Magpie is for sadness, right? And we are reading this energy and it's like a sign actually for me that this person is very sad and they miss you. Hmm. And I feel that you can expect an apology that they pushed you away with the seven of wands. For some of you in the near future, Aries, you will find out that feminine energy with the queen of wands, um, it's like... Um, um, I feel this is someone that you haven't been in touch for a long time. It might be a relative, it might be a friend, it might be a family member, it um, it might be a colleague, but I feel that you haven't been in touch for some time and this person will send you a message or they will call you. It will be unexpected out of the blue, quite shocking that they actually decided to... Um, uh, to to uh, to communicate with you and i feel this is someone here who will express uh, some sort of kind of a remorse and also they will tell you that they might be in some sort of kind of financial difficulty um and they will um i feel some sort of kind of they will try to talk or they will try to ask you that can you can we meet up and it's like with the seven of cups they got involved in some sort of kind of situation that at the very beginning they sh shouldn't have it was a little bit murky 
and I feel this person uh, experienced some sort of form of a fina financial loss with the five of pentacles and with the seven of wands I feel that um, they would try to convince you to maybe uh, kind of uh, temporarily help them but um, I'm not seeing you particularly willing to do that because I feel that you know this person and you kind of see that um, this is someone who uh, when you will decide it, for instance to support them with regards to your resources it's like a gift right you might expect or you might I feel that you know this person very well and you kind of feel well this is that you won't kind of give me the money back because let's be real um, because based on of the past and the not and you know our history here I feel that you know this person this is someone here who is coming and um, it's like they are coming when they need something and this person got confused I feel that again this is someone who is very confrontational with the seven of wands at some point they pushed you away and now they like coming back asking you are trying to get some sort of sympathy about regarding their situation but um, I feel that um, you know you kind of know this person yeah you know this person and it's it's like it's the same old story I feel this is someone who it's like a routine for them that you know when things are okay, things are okay. Uh, you can't hear from them or you won't hear from them. And suddenly when there is a problem, they're coming to you. And for instance, uh, they, they want your sympathy or they're playing a victim card. And it's like, you know, it's, this is someone who doesn't want to take responsibility for their actions. And it can be a friend. It can be a relative, it can be a family member who just feels some sort of kind of entitlement that every time when um, they are facing some sort of difficulties, you, 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 you have to be there to help them. And the thing is that you don't have to be there because I feel this is someone here who is perfectly cap capable of taking care of themselves. It's just they, are, they might be lazy or they're just making the wrong decisions. But, you know, um, it's got nothing to do with you, right? Let's see the outcome. Let's see the outcome. Show me the outcome for Aries, please. We have the world. So you might be dealing Aries with Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. We have the Emperor, your energy Aries. We have uh, this five of five of swords. And we have this devil energy again at the bottom of the deck. So you might be dealing with Capricorn. So we have the world, we have the Emperor and the five of swords what I am getting here Aries it feels like when you thought that something ended when you thought that something just you know that certain um that certain completion took place regarding particular matter with the world regarding a strong masculine energy i'm getting um this person it's 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 kind of showing up in your outcome you have someone here who feels unfinished business with you okay and again it doesn't have to be a person of romantic interest okay it can be simply a friend relative colleague i'm getting actually strong some sort of kind of a friend um or 
colleague or family member but with this world it's like they feel unfinished business but this is someone here who um who kind of they cannot let it go of something and it can be you know uh, you as a friend or or they don't want you to kind of detached from them you know we have a five of swords next to this emperor this is someone who cannot be trusted this is someone who use manipulation in order to gain something what they truly truly want um and with the devil yeah overall energy here it's like um i feel very strongly here aries that you are taking back control and the fact that you are very selective with your energy i feel that you are very intuitive and you know that maybe you know this at the moment there is this kind of you are in this you know time of your life or there is a period uh, in your life that you feel that you have to be extra careful what you're sharing with people because you might feel deeply inside that there is someone in your energy who feels unfinished business with you who um, and it can be an ex I don't feel that this is the same energy here okay regarding this person who wants to uh, come back This is something else. This is someone else. And it's like they cannot let they cannot let it go. It, it's like they 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 are very attached. And I feel this is someone who will try to um use some sort of form of manipulation in order to kind of stay in your life. To stay, to be relevant to your life. And the thing is that I feel that you've decided to kind of let go of the situation, decided to detach from it, but this person here is very cleany. They, uh, but ultimately it's like, they are, they are not coming here from the place of truth and integrity. With the five of swords and the devil energy, this is someone who's hugely manipulative and they are using it um they are using it in a, in a very kind of skillful way but at the end of the day you you know everything about this person you know their ways because at the very um because the fact that we have the world f shows that you've already decided to kind of detach from that situation you've decided to end this cycle because you've decided to complete the cycle with this person and you didn't mind to let it go this person here cannot let it go they feel unfinished business with you and with the five of swords and the devil energy it feels like um it might be a case that in your outcome here this person will try to uh contact you or um again it i feel very strongly that this is not a love related situation Or if it is, it's not this person here. Mm. And this is someone, maybe an ex, who wants to really kind of, who is obsessing here over you, who wants to uh, stay relevant uh, in your life and who is uh, trying very hard to kind of, uh, to get uh, your attention because they feel unfinished business. Therefore, they are thinking and planning here how to, how to uh, you know get your attention but this is a manipulation there is someone here and i have to be honest with you aries there is someone here that cannot be trusted okay and i'm getting quite strong masculine energy but again with the emperor this is a divine masculine energy but again male, male female please take it how it resonates we all have divine masculine and divine feminine energy within us when the emperor is beautifully aspected it represents someone who's very stable who is all about security who wants to stay very long in our life uh, who is uh, very reliable who wants to be there for us right but this emperor here it's surrounded by this 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 energy the devil and the five of 
uh, five of uh, swords so this is someone who is quite sneaky I would say you know they like to play mind games they like attention um, I'm not surprised actually when I look at this whole reading that you might indeed kind of decided to withdraw your energy and you keep your cards very close to your chest. At the end of the day you have nothing here to worry about because you have very positive cards. You know, it's just I'm what I am seeing here is that you know, you kind of a uh, um decided to complete the cycle with this person the business here is finished let's say it that way if someone here feels unfinished business with you well that's their problem and really that's it for some of you in this outcome i see you um uh, doing um enormous amount of work but it's like aries and this is very kind of let's say deep okay um because this is your energy, the emperor. And then we have this five of swords and the devil. It's fe it feels like in your outcome, you might be also um, start focusing more about yourself, but also acknowledge, acknowledging uh, uncomf uncomfortable truths about certain situations that influenced, uh, that influence, um, some areas of your life it's like having a dark night of the soul or facing your uh, shadow kind of side you know what i mean but i feel that you are incredibly courageous to do that and we have this strength energy in your reading for some of you you might be indeed kind of working a lot uh, on yourself and you know everybody has it you know i have it everybody there is, I believe there is no human being who hasn't been through um, something that, you know, has been very challenging and also that might have triggered something within us. And, you know, um, but the thing is that it's, it's incredibly challenging, but also very courageous. And it sh shows the strength of the character when someone's deciding to kind of face those, those matters. And I feel that for some of you, you might be actually doing that you know because we have this mirror here right and it's like there is it's like having a long deep look uh, and seeing the reflection but sometimes that reflection is not that beautiful you know and it's it's it, you know everybody has that and and those kind of moments or certain experiences that they um that i believe every one of us um has been through certain things that kind of shaped um us as a, as a individuals right and some things are very beautiful and some things are not that uh cute right but um i'm seeing that indeed for some of you i feel that uh, you might be uh, doing enormous amount of work. It's like you are facing certain uncomfortable truths about um, um, specific um, matters or events that happened in your life and you are trying to heal. And with the world, uh, I feel that you just don't mind doing this because this is a huge energy of, uh, of growth and expansion when it comes to spirituality. It's like you are um, awakened. There is an enlightenment. You are enlightened. You know, it's like, I feel that your energy is very, very high vibrational. There is something very profound about this because not many people are willing to do that. You know, it's very difficult. It's very difficult because um, it's not easy but um, you possess all the strength, emotional intelligence uh, to, to go through this process. Of course, it won't resonate with all of you and um, it, 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 but if some, if some of you are uh, kind of decided to 
uh, to kind of you know work on this uh, uncomfortable truths or un uncomfortable kind of energy um, I'm seeing you being very successful because the world is that finally uh, as your outcome you will detach from uh, from from the from this energy and um, you will heal from certain events I'm seeing you being incredibly incredibly a spiritual person here Aries who knows certain tr certain things you know that they are you know I, I'm getting that you really kind of a you know what's going on and it's like you are not afraid to face uh, certain things and you are not afraid to kind of admit that you know every single one of us have have uh, has this kind of inner demons that sometimes you know we can get easily triggered or something it's it's, it's human it's a human nature it's only normal but I'm seeing you doing enormous amount of work for some of you if you really you know if you resonate with this part of the message and you being very very successful here mm -hmm. you'll be very happy very satisfied Spirit here, I feel that in general wants you to kind of pay attention uh, to with regards to certain people. There is this one strong feminine energy who will unexpectedly, I feel, you know, communicate with you and uh, try to gain some sort of sympathy. Uh, and it can be indeed someone here also who feels unfinished business. But at the end of the day, you have here nothing to worry about, really, because you have very, very positive energy. You will have reasons to celebrate. Two of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. Yeah, this is this is yes, and you see you have an Ace of Pentacles. And this Ace of Pentacles was coming through this reading very strongly. Um yeah. Two of Wands this Two of Pentacles. We have a Ten of Wands. Yeah, I'm getting that very strongly here, Aries, that for, for it's been a long time that you might be put in the middle or there is something here that you feel that you have to juggle two situations and you might come to the conclusion that it's been too much. I'm getting that you are very adaptable and flexible, that you can do it, but it's, it's not the case. It's, it's now, it's, I feel that you kind of reach that point that you want to focus on one thing. And with the Ten of Wands, I feel that this whole situation here has been quite difficult in a sense of it's, it's been kind of time consuming. And with the Ten of Wands, it starts being very exhausting uh, and draining. And I feel that you very soon will drop some sort of form of a burden uh, that's been very difficult and I feel with the Ten of Wands because this is a very solitude energy you've been put in a situation when there was no one there is no one here to support you or to kind of you know um, who wanted to kind of offer their help it's like you are left alone but with all these responsibilities and things that you feel that you need to take care of and I feel that you have a lot on your plate but you are you are releasing this burden and that's why we have also this energy because the devil energy also keep us stuck in a certain situation and it also kind of um, represents some sort of limitations and you might it might be a case that for some time it, it felt like a kind of a being in a loop and it was just um, impossible to kind of um, to release this energy but you are doing that and with the ace of pentacles new opportunities new opportunities possibilities and chances to gain more um uh, to gain more prosperity yes okay thank you spirit and to gain more stability you will be presented something with some sort of opportunity as soon as you will kind of release something uh, that it's very time consuming and something that you might feel that it, that you would rather kind of walk away uh, in order to focus on one thing 
because I feel that you're going to choose this one pentacle instead of juggling two. That, and I feel that this situation, it's been very, very draining and you want, and I feel that you are deciding to once and for all to release this burden in order to uh, have this opportunity to focus on one thing and also to welcome uh, those, um, those possibilities and, and to have a chance here to, to have a new beginning that will bring abundance and prosperity because Ace of Pentacles, it's all about, you know, opportunity to gain more prosperity and abundance as well. And whatever this abundance uh, might mean to you. But new opportunities are on the horizon and I see you. It's like a huge energy here, Aries, um, of you um, making healthy choices and releasing something once and for all in order to um, in order to be fully in control of certain situation and to have this opportunity to have this new beginning that you truly truly want very strong profound reading Aries Aries I will leave it here thank you so so very much for being with me please like share and sus subscribe and once again thank you very much for your time I truly appreciate you. Aries, have a fantastic and wonderful day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me and for your time. Love and light. Till next time. Take care. Bye.